And if lawmakers don't reach a deal, you'll be waking up to a shutdown Sunday morning. Our Casey Nolan is here to explain what this could mean for all of us. Casey. Well, Sunday, we might not notice much of a change because it's Sunday, but come Monday, D.C. could look a lot different. A not so stoic standstill on the Hill has many in Washington worried. I'm in pain over it because I think a lot of people are not going to get paid, especially our vets and our military. If Congress can't pass a budget, then it can't pay the country's bills. That would mean furloughs for thousands of federal workers who drive much of the D.C. economy. Washington will slow. Um, and for some people, it will it will come to a complete halt. Peter Loge is the director of the Project on Ethics and Political Communication at GW. He says while federal workers will most likely eventually be paid back wages, contract workers won't. And some of them are, you know, the, the folks who work in, in consulting firms, but many are cleaning crews. Uh, they work in the coffee shops and federal buildings, things like that. They're not paid a lot. They're paid by the hour. This could be hugely painful, and which is one of the real unfortunate parts about this. Loge says a shutdown would suspend many federal services that people depend on. The FDA would have to stop uh, non-essential food inspections, right? Uh, some agencies, for example, you'll still get your Social Security check, but there'll be nobody there to answer the phone if, if there's a problem. Uh, if you're expecting a passport, you can expect massive delays in that. It looks like they work for themselves, they don't work for people. There's no cooperation. One of the things I, I want to see more is just a, a, an active approach to peacemaking. Loge says a shutdown would also cost Congress something else it can't afford. Another unfortunate byproduct of this is really declining trust. Circuses like this erode that trust, they undermine public confidence, and they do nothing to advance the cause of democracy. Essential workers like air traffic controllers and TSA agents would still have to report to work in a shutdown with no pay. And we learned today the Smithsonian Museums and the National Zoo, they say they can afford to stay open until next Saturday, but most National Parks Zoo would close immediately if there is a shutdown.